Good morning, welcome back to another video. Um, again, sorry it's been a little bit delayed, but um, quite a busy day today. I'm going to be um, doing my picking and packing list. Um, so, not got too many, I think I've got like 10 items going out today. Um, and then I'm off to the boot sale. So, it's a Wednesday morning on a glorious summer's day. Not even remotely night nice. It's um it's a little bit dreary. I'm hoping the boot sale is gonna be um on. I'm running a little bit behind. It's now seven o'clock, it opens at half seven, so I'm probably gonna do this. Um and then I'm still after some more stock, so I'll probably like do a charity shop pickup as well. So I'm gonna get on with it. So uh, I'll try and like run through what I've actually like picked up. Got my labels already, so just on the back here, I've pre printed them at home, keep them all like um, stored in my garage. Uh, I've got about 1200 items here at the moment. Um, so, first one, which is an auto jumper at 12712. 12712, right at the front there. So, all saints kind of like fairly like it's like, like a waffle knit that one. Uh, it's got a slight defect in it. I think it's got um, a little hole in the shoulder. That was all I described. Straight into the poly bag. What we'll do is get a IKEA bag out of my boots. Just so I can. Away. Right, so that's the first one. Next one we go on to is um, is a jacket by Weekend Offender one three eight three four. Eight three four. There we go. So Weekend Offender. Um, Probably not the highest of brands, but uh, it seems to do okay with it, uh, usually in the slightly bigger sizes. Kind of reminds me of uh, so it's Trap Star and those types of uh, brands. Right. It's always uh, when you're trying to go in a rush, you uh, Labels seem to become extra sticky. Uh, next one is a jumper by Abercrombie and Fitch 13839. Right, the front there. This is actually Abercrombie. It looks like a go um, a cricket jumper, and this is going international. Uh, it's going to Switzerland. This one, it is new, it's still got its uh, tags on it as well. Right, and we got a a gym bag actually. Um, I've been picking up bags like recently. One three nine four five. One three nine. Seven to nine. Four five. There we go. So yeah, it's a um. Surprisingly, like kind of, you can pick them up cheap enough. Like kind of uh, bags and duffel bags seem to be doing like kind of like really well for me. And it all kind of like fits within my storage model and shipping model. So I don't need to like find boxes or anything like that. I can purely and simply like just put it into a poly mailer, stick a label on it, and off she goes. Right, next we've got a Ralph Polo shirt, 14003. Oh, oh, Alright, so polo shirts, wouldn't normally pick these up, but it's actually got the um, pony logo 
which is a slightly bigger one. The small pony logos still sell, absolutely still sell, but don't sell quite as strong. So this one here is a vintage one, so it's got the old style label on it. And yeah, sold uh, quickly as well. All right, next we've got a um, jacket. So this is a recent pickup. It's a Ferrari jacket, 14012. Right, so Ferrari fleece jacket, this one. Um, nice, it's actually got a bit of um, embroidery with um, Michael Schumacher on there as well, which gives you that like slightly more kind of uh, desirable vibes to it all right then we've got another Ralph Lauren shirt uh, this one here again another vintage one 14023 so it's a bit more of a, like a check style this one or a plaid um, vintage tag as you can see and I think it's a good size as well yeah double XL um, so a couple of things going for it big size vintage label and just not a plain kind of like pattern on it as well so I think it's a little bit different and then we've got a pair of jeans by G Star So 14076. Right. G Star. So these ones are new actually. Picked them up a couple of days ago. Um yeah, and sold that really quickly. Right, so I've got a couple of um, trainers like to pick up, um, but I'll do those a bit later because I want to like head off to like the uh, off to the boot sale now. Right, that's it, all done. Off to the next um, uh, job, which is the uh, the boot sale. Morning. I'm just like contemplating on whether I stay. Weather's not great, is it? No, but it might be some bargains there. There might be some, but you're absolutely right. You know. Go on then. You've like talked me into it. Was it a pound? A woman of money, we can talk you. <laughs> Bless you. Morning.
trying to. Oh, oh my God. I, I was at the uh, thing, I was going like, shall I go or shall I not? Yeah, they're it's not. Yeah, here's what it is. Morning. Morning. How are we doing? Oh, <laughs> Don't get stressed. Yeah. Are you sure? Don't panic. Don't panic. Nothing at the back. There's another one there. Your... Yeah, yeah. Five five. Thank two. You. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just... No, no, it's fine. Sorry to ask. I had a big bag of makeup here. Where's that gone? I've got some stuff here. No, it's a big bag. Okay. Thank you very much, my love. Are you ready now? Yeah, I think so. I think it's three bits there. One, two, three. £7? Yeah, it's fine. Thank you, Do you want a bag? That's uh, right, I'll go on. What's the um, bits at the top there? £20 motorbike boots in the armour. £20 for the yeah, motorbike jacket. Okay, cool. Oh, I've got that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I give you some? Places, yeah. oh. So seven for me. It's got 13 back. Oh, lovely. It's coming everywhere now. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten. Brilliant. Oh, you're Thank you. Of course I am. There we go. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless you. you. All right, I will come back and have a look in a minute once you're up. Uh... Thank you. Once I've tried it exactly. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, about six foot, just under. Last chance, Tim. Last chance, but I'll go. My boy is six foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All warning already for you. They do, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah that's fine. You miss me this week? You miss me? I'm just moaning at these talks. I'll come in, I said, can I walk round? Thank you, my friend. Right, so that's the boot sale done. Um, yeah, it was pretty terrible. It is now raining outside, which is definitely gonna put like a lot of people off. Um, not just sellers, but buyers as well. Uh, I was in two minds of whether I even bother going in, but um, picked up a couple of bits, a couple of gilets um, and a jacket. Um, so I suppose it, like, kind of, like, it was worth a one pound getting in. Um, but uh, so now, still really early so none of the kind of the charity shops are open at the moment um so it's now five to eight in the morning um i'm gonna now i think i'll probably go and get some breakfast just wait for the charity shops to open um yeah i'm, I'm a little bit unsure now like and i was hoping this was uh, going to be a little bit bigger so i could spend a bit more time here but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes like it's not always kind of um rainbows and unicorns so um yeah let's uh i'll go and get some uh, breakfast right just arrived at um orpington i'm gonna go have a little wander around here um so yeah parked up gonna get some breakfast it's still too early for the charity shops to open 
Uh, no, it's about 8.30. So, i say, get a bit of breakfast. Have a chill out for a bit. And then get on with it. So this is Orpington High Street. Probably about a mile in length. I think it's got about, I don't know, eight to 10 charity shops.
Right, all back at home. Um, so I went, as you probably saw, um, I went to a few charity shops. Um, I, I don't mind doing filming and I don't really mind doing filming outdoors as well. Um, I'm reasonably comfortable um, at the boot sale, kind of like taking video. Um, but I honestly feel like kind of like it's a real intrusion, like filming when I'm actually like at a charity shop. Um, I've got a lot of kind of like a bit of a uh, kind of a block when it comes to that. So um, as you say, I like kind of that, but I've done a few bits, but nothing special. Um, so I'm going to like show you what I did pick up. Um, if you're a content creator and you do like kind of like the um, kind of the charity shops and walking around, for example, I see Chatty Pete, like I'm doing it regularly. Um, let me know, like, have you got any tips? Like, how am I going to get over it, or is it a case of you just like, I don't really care. Um, but uh, yeah, so I picked up a few bits. I'm going to start off with what I picked up in the um, the boot sale. Um, only three bits, uh, paid seven pound in total for the three items. Cost me a pound to get in, so eight pound in total. So like, if you said like they were they only two pound each, that's like not too bad. Um, right. So um, first one, which is the uh, gilet. So this one here is a size. I think it's a large size medium. So size medium. Checking to see if it's a adult size medium. There, no, it's, a, it's a, a children's like kind of ten to twelve, so not ideal. It's probably the size of it, like an adult's medium, but um, it's only a polyester one as well, but not kind of like vast amounts. Um, next, which is a pair of like walking waterproof walking trousers. Um, these look in absolute like in the perfect condition. Um, so the brand is Rohan the logo on the back there and just inside the Rohan on there um, size small but they've got the barber side the waterproofing on it as well and they've got some quite cool zips so these are the waterproof zips so you can like open it all up as well it's like to be more breathable um, so two pound for those and we've got another gilet so that's another puffer jacket this one is the men's size uh, men's size large this one uh, so extra large just on there just double check to make sure that is case okay. extra large children's as well so yeah that was uh, that's not ideal but still that's quite a big size it um kind of i think so I'll do my measurements on there as well, but uh, again, only polyester, so it's not kind of the most high-end one. Right, so then I went to Orpington. Um, as you see, I've got, I've got a bit of breakfast. Had to wait around for the shops to open, but then kind of like had a little look around. First one I picked up was a pair of um, hiking trousers. I've never like heard of this brand before. It's called Rye. I think it's R E Y. Sorry, R E I. Um, looks like it's actually that sells quite well in America, not so much here. It's only a small size, but paid uh, £3.49 for that one. Um, yeah, it looks like a thing. It's got the removable legs as well. Quite cool. Uh, and then we've got a jacket. So it's a lightweight like, walking jacket by Nautica. So nice detailing on the arm. It's got the kind of logo. It's a size medium as well. Well, the only thing on this one is like it will definitely go all through the wash because it's a little bit stained around the neck. And um, so what I do is I get some probably uh, some pink stuff. If anyone's like ever tried that, um, what I do is I put some pink stuff onto it, let it soak for half an hour or so, and then like right into the washing machine. Um, but this owes me a pound, so like really cheap that one. So it would be lovely to like pick up absolute bangers all the time, but as long as I can like turn a pound into twenty, like hopefully, like and like plus shipping, um, I, I'm happy with doing that. Um, I'm not going to be able to like get wrap jackets like that sell for. 60 80 100 pound every single day um but next one which is a um i, I quite liked this one um it's nothing like too special but 
Um, it is a single stitch American t-shirt. It's on there. Um, and it's a Florida Orlando. It's got a nice bit of like embroidery on it as well. It's on the Marina tag. Uh, and that is, I think it's made in America as well. I'll double check. Um, but £2.49 for that. Um, just like for a nice thing. Good condition as well. Right. And we've got a pair of jeans. Small jeans, these ones. So like not particularly big, um, but Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, the reason I kind of picked up these ones, they are, as I say, a little bit small, size 29, probably a women's um, in all honesty. But they are, um, they're only like kind of £9.99, Polo Ralph Lauren, but they have got the tags on it. So these are new with tags, kind of like a off-white cream colour on there as well. But yeah, all there are kind of like, tags on it as well so i thought i can like i'd take a I'd take a risk on it for nine pound 99 um they got a bit of stretch to it as well so hopefully not when someone tries them on they will feel like kind of uh, even if they're not exactly a 29 they should fit into it and then we got a pair of jogging bottoms a pair of nike joggers these are vintage see just on there it's got the old vintage tag so it's the silver tag it's on there if you can see that uh they are a size medium i think that's what you get when you get old and uh you need glasses um so it's got the side kind of striping down there it's got the embroidered um swoosh logo and it's kind of like on the inside, it's actually like this cotton like feel on the inside. So like really quite like retro, like very cool. Uh, what did I pay for those ones? I may have said, but uh, paid 4 99 for those. All right, then we've got a Nike dry fit top. So kind of like um, for me, what stood out on this one, which is the, the it's got the 90 on there as so that I think it's the total 90. Now I'm not the kind of like the most up when it comes to football. This to me looks like a um, goalkeeper top. It is vintage as well. So again, we've got the oh kind of the silver label on there as well. Um six pounds fifty, six forty-nine for that one. Um, it is dry fit, it has got the tag at the bottom as well. Um, so I'll check the code on it just to make sure I know exactly what one it is. But £6.50, I thought that looked quite cool. I've heard like kind of um, a few people like say that um, like Total 90 stuff is quite good, especially the football. So that's why football boots. Um, right, we've got another like jumper. This one's a lightweight jumper by Massimo Dutti. Picked this one up a um, little thick, so this was three pound, so it's been reduced. Um, but it's the cotton and cashmere, so really lightweight, nice. It's got some arm patches on the back as well. And well, uh, yeah, three pound for that one, so all good. All right, and then we got a shirt, um, quite liking this brand. Um, which is shirt by Relco. So just like so. Uh, what was so eight pound for that one. Apologies for the dog. She, uh, I think, wants something. Obviously. So yeah, hundred percent cotton on this one. put some like comps up to uh, show you what I think I'm going to like put it up for. All right, so we've got another t-shirt. Um, I was in two minds on this one, but I just thought this was like very cool. So Bugs Bunny. Um, now it is single stitch as well. So it's a, just having a look. So this is where I normally would check for the single stitch, just on the, um, the cuff. Um, it's got a single 
line going around the neck as well. Um, so this is by um, Acme Clothing. Um, so it was up for six pounds. So probably a little bit like more for a t-shirt, but um, looking at it, it's uh, 1993 licensed. Oh, let's see if I can show you that. If it, you can see that on there. Um, so yeah, 100% cotton, made in the USA. I just thought that was actually the Alpine Ski Team members only Bugs Bunny. So like nice condition as well. So no like issues under the armpits. Doesn't look like it's actually shrunk. Uh, size medium, probably like a little bit smaller than medium. So more small to medium, but uh, yeah, very cool that one. Um, last couple of bits, um, this I uh, went into another like charity shop. This was in um, kind of like a fairly close village to where I lived. Um, and I didn't actually have any reception. So I took like in my opinion like a little bit of a risk on this one so i pair it, got a pair of jeans all right so these are um by replay now this is actually like brand new with tags so it is like kind of like that everything thing so it's got a good size so it's size 38 so big size it's got a name on it it's got the anbass um all the tags are good now the price, so it was twenty pound. Um, so I did um and ah. I wasn't a hundred percent sure whether to actually pick them up or not, but um, I've sold these ones like used for thirty five to forty in the past. Um, so I and that was like used ones. So I thought like, I'm like I'll take the risk and actually um, think because I had no reception to actually physically check it. Um, but they did want twenty pound for it. So hence I was actually I'm in an R in. Um, so since I come in um, back home, I've had a quick look at the comps, um, and I'm kind of reasonably confident I'm going to get a good amount of money. Um, I think off the top of my head, and I try and put some like bits up on the screen. Um, I think I'm going to like try and go for around about the eighty pound mark. And then the last one, like from the charity shop, which is another shirt um, I do like this brand um, it doesn't sell like amazingly amazingly well but I've kind of got a bit of a soft spot so it's Orvis um, so this one looks like it's a more of a vintage one size large um, and paid 550 for that one it's kind of like a twill heavy like kind of cotton not quite denim but nice kind of like big buttons on it as well um, and yeah, I just liked it actually. Kind of like gave me a um, a brush popper vibe from Wrangler. It's not, but just like kind of feels like that material. All right, so that's everything um, from the charity shops. The only other thing that I've kind of like have picked up, which is um, one parcel from Vinted. Uh, so like really like not got a lot coming through at the moment. I've been trying to actually get more. So. I think the key thing what I've noticed is that I'm really liking the fact that you can, for example, like today, like going to the um, the um, the boot sales, it was raining, so there was like majority of people like were turning up, taking one look at it, and then like kind of like they were off. Um, whereas like vintage, like it's on twenty four hours a day. It doesn't matter if it's raining or shining. Um, but you're going to pay over, like you're going to pay extra for it. Um, and because I've actually changed the model to like doing 20 a day, um, the cash flow has become a real issue. Um, so I've been trying my best to still do the vintage, but also like do the boot sales, do the charity shops, look at other avenues as well. Um, so I've now, like past couple of days, I've bought like a lot off of vintage because I need to like get some of the higher value stuff again. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's that's the main reason I've been concentrating on trying to bring the cost of goods down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going like, to open this up. Um, I can tell it's a pair of like shoes or trainers, a pair of shoes actually. Right, so these are a pair of Air Force Ones. Um, look nice size. Let's have a quick look. They are missing the insoles, which I did know about. Uh, size eight and a half. 
Um, but like in good condition, just needs a little wipe over. Can't for the life of me remember like what I paid for them. I will have a look and I'll let you know. I'll put it up on there. Um, Air Force Ones, like the white ones, they, they still do okay. I don't think they are anywhere near as strong as they used to be. Um, so I would always be a little bit cautious about how much you spend on something like this. But yeah, that, that's like all my pickups for the day. Um, so the rest of the day today is I've got to um, get my pictures taken. So I need to like, I'm, take, I'm taking at least 20 sets of um, pictures um, today. And then I also need to edit this video, try and get this out. I've also got to write, I don't know if you've known, this may be a little bit late, but I got um, Michelle um, uh, O'Brien, like she gave me a reminder to say that um, the eBay grant, um, kind of you need to like put in an application and it's today is the, um, the last day. So that's Wednesday, the 3rd of July. Um, so I need to, I can send that out. Um, so if you've done it, good luck. If you haven't done it, yeah, you might have missed out on that one. Um, and what else have I got to do today? Uh, clean some clothing. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it really. Um, so yeah, get some lunch in a bit. So it's now two o'clock. Uh, again, really appreciate your kind of like your time and um, like tuning in. Um, there was one other thing I was kind of like I'm planning on potentially doing. I've been talking to a few people about the possibility of me putting out some videos, like kind of breaking down the structure of how I do everything. Um, so, for example, um, how I do my um, set up my photos that's not just like i'm like showing you how to do the photographing there's what i use like and um, what bags i use um, my skew labels my um kind of flat. but then going into how i do research um how i store everything so i'd like to try and put together um a guide that's actually going to go through every um aspect of how I run my business. Now, not for one second am I saying this is perfect. Um, I've been doing it for a couple of years now and there's still things that I need to refine, but I do think it's probably one of like, kind of like the actual side of like the mechanical eBay bits. I think I've got like kind of pretty much nailed down. Um, the bit that is still kind of ongoing is sourcing, trying to get as much like kind of like stock, good quality stock. Um, that's a, a constant battle, which I'm still trying to like work out. I'm trying to um, kind of work out that puzzle. Um, but again, I've been rambling a little bit now. Um, so hopefully like that's been of interest again. Um, don't forget to actually like, kind of, like send me a message, like leave a comment. Always love reading like the questions and uh, um, let me know if I missed anything. Um, and uh, yeah, if there's anything I can help you with, then uh, let me know. But uh, until the next one, thank you very much.